I'm Heather Stewart and I'm a marine geologist with the British Geological Survey and I was expedition geologist as part of the Five Deeps expedition. I'm a geologist by trade. I work at the British Geological Survey and I'm trained to take a step back and have that overview. And you can't always do that in the oceans and in the sea because you have to use a lot of what we call remotely sensed data. So it's data that we gather using sonar and uh, towed camera sledges and, and the like. And even when we're retrieving physical geological samples, you know, it's, it's one pinpoint of information in a, excuse the pun, a vast ocean of, of, um, of a landscape, a seascape. So being able to go down and look at it with your own eyeballs is, uh, is just amazing because you get that sense of perspective and things start to make a bit more sense. Victor Vescovo is uh, this figurehead and founder and came up with the whole concept of finding and diving to the five deep points in the five oceans. He's obviously very driven. He had previously climbed the seven highest peaks in the seven continents. He'd gone to the North Pole solo and the South Pole solo. You know, he's, he's an adventurer. It was interesting working with him because of course we're coming from a scientific perspective, you know, where well, any information is new and exciting to us. The opportunities that Victor afforded us, he would take us down on science dives. So he allowed us the flexibility to choose targets that were at the deepest point in the ocean and to go and explore them for our own scientific um, investigations. And that was, I mean, I think it takes a, a unique individual to invest his own efforts and time and energy into facilitating somebody else's science. I mean, it was a rocky road at times, but that's offshore exploration. That's any sort of exploration. Surface, this is the LF. The LF has landed. Repeat, the LF has landed at bottom. We managed to get experts from around the world. Paul Yancey, for example, from the United States and Cassie Bongiovanni um, from Texas. She was our lead mapper. And it isn't unusual in today's day and age to work on what we term a multidisciplinary cruise. So you're bringing lots of experts from lots of different fields, whether it's engineering, mapping and sonar, uh, biology, geology, microbiology. And it's a great opportunity to bring together that body of experts to, to look at these deepest places in the world's five oceans. Participating on the Five Deeps expedition, elements were certainly as I expected it to be. I've got a fair amount of offshore experience, so in terms of living on board the boat with people that you don't know as well, so getting to know them, eating with them, working with them 24 hours a day, yes, that's fine. And the multidisciplinary science, yes, we do a lot of that within the British Geological Survey and our collaborators. Working with a submarine, completely new. So. That was certainly a new experience and having that body of engineering expertise on board as well and interacting with them and they're coming at the problem of trying to find the deepest place and putting equipment down there from a completely different angle to what the science team that I was participating on. I started off doing a desk study to find out where the five deepest places in five oceans were before we'd even set sail, just so that we could start to narrow our search areas because we had the five oceans to look at. And what we discovered when we did that death study was that it's not always clear. So there's places like the Mariana Trench that's reasonably well known, and we know that that has the deepest point in the world, in the, in the Challenger Deep. But areas like the Southern Ocean are relatively unexplored because they're hostile, far from anywhere else, and it costs a lot of money to go offshore and to collect this sort of baseline data on water depth, effectively. So when we went to the Southern Ocean, it was a blank canvas. You know, my searches beforehand, we couldn't really narrow it down too much. So that, for example, was a truly, you know, blue skies, you know, here be dragons. Let's go and explore the deepest point of the, of the Southern Ocean. And we spent a lot of time just searching for the deepest point in the South Sandwich Trench. We went round the world in 10 months. I mean, there were so many stories, experiences. There were points at which we were sort of just sailing along, working really hard in the back deck, and then you look up and there's a whale, an iceberg, a bunch of penguins squawking at you <laughs> loudly. 
and it was just amazing, you know, and sometimes just in some of the downtime as you're transiting along, you know, you just go outside with your cup of tea and just stand and look around and think, gosh, you know, not a lot of people get to come here. That's pretty cool. That's something to take home forever. So on the five deeps trip to the Arctic Ocean, we sailed in out of Svalbard and we spent a little bit of time um, in the fjords and we came across uh, a young polar bear and the weather was spectacular at that point in the fjords, I could see it was heavy. But um, we were able to get off the boat into one of the zodiacs and very cautiously, not very close because you don't want to disturb the polar bear, but yeah, that was very cool. And you've got mountains in the background and glaciers and a polar bear hunting for fish. That was spectacular. Yeah. I was asked before my sub dive, you know, was I, was I nervous or scared? But I think having the time spent with the Triton engineers and knowing the people who actually designed, the, the two British gentlemen that designed the submarine as well, I had absolute confidence in their abilities and the abilities of the Triton team and the ship and the officers and crew and every, so at no point actually surprising. I, mean, I was nervous because you get nervous doing something new, but in terms of actually being scared, no, it's, Surprisingly, it wasn't an emotion that I had. <laughs> the moment was like, oh yes, permission to dive granted. That was very cool. Because you go from moving around on the sea surface to just absolute stillness. And you're just, you're just falling through the ocean. And the color change from pale greys and white on the sea surface through, you know, all of the shades of blue and, and into sort of just the darkest blue that you can imagine. It's just amazing, absolutely spectacular. And then having the seafloor loom up underneath you when you're getting to the bottom. I can't describe that sort of feeling. It was absolutely immense. Ah! Five! Participating on the five deeps and getting the opportunity to go down the submarine, yeah, in my opinion, not a lot of people get to do that, especially in these sort of water depths as well. There just there just aren't submarines that are capable of going down that deep. So having that experience is, as far as a scientist is concerned, a once in a lifetime opportunity. It was just one of the most amazing experiences of my entire career. It was just awesome.